All right, so this is my Craftsman 21, I'm sorry, 109.21270 lathe following restoration. I painted it back up in the gold color that it originally had. Now this lathe actually had quite a bit of wear in the ways. I ended up machining all the ways down 13 thousandths. The saddle was, uh, saddle bearings were recast uh, using a, a two-part polymer uh, way material. Same thing for the uh, tailstock. And the headstock was uh, recast with a um, non-dynamic um, weigh material since it doesn't move. All of the axes, the, the axis of the headstock and of the tailstock, uh, those were aligned probably within about uh, five ten thousandths, but uh, once the uh, machine is up and running, uh, we'll find out for sure. Uh, over here at this end, We've got the, uh, the headstock. There's a threading chart on the outside. I've seen some of these placed both on the outside as well as on the inside. Uh, in this case, mine came with the threading chart on the outside, so I repositioned it there. Put in new drive screws to hold it on. The entire structure was... Um, sandblasted and then primed and painted just using Sherwin-William, I'm sorry, um, Rust-Oleum rattle can primer. We've got the gearing for auto feed as well as for threading. Note that down here the, uh, the gear is currently removed for the uh, drive or lead screw. Uh, this door does not close with the large, large gear placed on it, that location. <clears throat> Shifting forward and reverse. You can see how the gears mesh. On the back of the lathe, you can see... There is a, it's got a planetary uh, gear reduction right here, multiple pulleys, and uh, I plan to put on a counter shaft to slow this guy way down. <clears throat> At the work holding end, we've got the standard um, four, four, four jaw chuck, yep, standard four jaw chuck. Uh, at some point in time, I'd like to pick up a three-jaw chuck just for uh, convenience. And I do have a chuck um, for the tailstock. Uh, it's a, a kind of a normal drill chuck. Uh, that was actually damaged during the restoration. I, uh, I left it sit in acid for too long, and so the tolerances are kind of screwed up on it. Uh, I'll have to get a replacement chuck for that. Anyway, this is my... Craftsman 109.21270 lathe. I'll get another video when it's up and running.